Hi everyone, and welcome back to the world of EditorX. I'm Ido, and in this video, we're going to talk about scale text in EditorX, what it is, and how it's used. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Let's dive in. If we take a look at this title here, we can see that it has a fixed font size of 60. This means that it will remain the same size across different viewport widths and breakpoints. Using the scale text option, we can make the size of the text be in relation to the size of our viewport. While in the desktop breakpoint, I'll select the text element and click the scale text button. Here I can set a lower value and an upper value. Let's set the lower value to 28 and the upper value to 60. Now we can see that the text is scaling as we change the width of our canvas. So let's try to understand what these values really mean and what are the viewport widths that these values refer to. So as we noted before, when the font size is set to a fixed value, we have the same font size across all viewport widths. If we apply scale text while on the highest breakpoint, then the font size would be 60 at a viewport width of 1920 pixels and would be 28 at a viewport width of 320 pixels. It will scale evenly across all breakpoints. Let's go back to the editor. So the way scale text is set up right now, I'm pretty happy with the sizing of my text in the desktop range, but when I reach tablet, I want the text to be larger. So while on the tablet breakpoint, I can set a different text scale range overriding the one that I have on desktop. Let's set the upper value to 56. So this might be a bit confusing because I put in a smaller value, but the text actually got bigger. So let's figure out what's going on. When we set a new scale while in tablet view, we're not affecting what's happening in desktop. This is because of the cascading rule which means that design changes you make in lower breakpoints will not affect the breakpoints above. So desktop is going to act the same, but in tablet, the upper value is now going to refer to the font size at the highest point in the tablet range, which is a thousand pixels in this case. So at 1920 viewport width, the font size will be 60 and will scale down as the viewport width reduces. But when we reach the tablet breakpoint, it will be a font size of 56 at the highest point and will scale down until it reaches the lowest point on mobile where it will be 28. So let's say that in the mobile range, I decide that I want to have a fixed font size. I can change the text in mobile to be fixed at 42. And again, that won't affect what we already have set on tablet and desktop. So let's review. We set a scale text while in desktop and then we applied another scaled text while in tablet. And finally, we applied a fixed font size in the mobile range. So now we have a firm grasp on how text scale behaves. But what happens above 1920? For example, in very large displays? Well, the text basically continues to scale up as the viewport widens. If you want to avoid this for some reason, you can just add a custom breakpoint at 1920 and set the font size in that breakpoint to be fixed. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be releasing more content, so stay tuned. Until next time.